Hey guys, welcome back once again. And this is November's, no, sorry, this is November, but this is October's Rob Vice's box. They are apparently running behind. I emailed them about it and everything and they'd say they were behind. They said they should be getting the November one on time. And then at the end of November, I should be getting the December one because they, if I'm not mistaken, they confirmed I'll be getting the Avid calendar one, but it was very ambiguous language overall. So this is October's box in November, unfortunately running late. Always, do, like I said, looked in there, did a try to do a sneak peek like I normally do. Couldn't even do that because of how it's packed this time. So bear with me guys and let's see what we got. This is honestly as far as I got. I like tried to take this out. I saw it was falling apart. I'm like, nah, not messing with that. Uh, so yeah, and uh, I knew I knew this much. Fireside Edition. Quick look through the quick flip through the book really quick. Fireside Edition. Little message from the founder of Vice. So here you go, guys. If you guys want to read this, feel free. If it would ever focus properly. Uh, smoking. So we're just gonna have to do something with cooking. Which is fun. Uh, barbecue legend, I'm assuming. More barbecue. Looks great. Did I get meat? Smoked meat would be amazing. They sent jerky once and that was awesome. Um, they might have sent more liquor. Honestly, can't tell from here. Oh, I think they sent me a book. With recipes. A recipe book. Nice. Uh, hops, pepper, and peppers. So we got, maybe got ketchup and the smoking ghost i oh, don't know we'll see this looks cool awesome uh 1500 beer caramelizer transform a beer what i got a beer caramelizer caramelizer hmm we'll see once we get to it we'll, we'll try to figure we'll come back to that and try to figure out how that works Here's a little more about it, and apparently you caramelize your beer. Instructions for use. Start fire. Cool. Campfire. Choice of drinks. You You can experiment with ale, ciders, coffee, various amounts. Grab a cup. Glass, metal, and ceramic cups are best for this. Saffron plastic cups work as well, but use with caution. Heat tip of caramelizer with charcoal until gold hot. Dip, do not stir a red hot tip into beer for two to three seconds, long enough for heat to react with sugar. Huh. That's gonna be interesting. I do enjoy beer and we'll see. Trick, ticket chocolate, aesthetic s'more kit. I don't want an aesthetic s'more, I want a s'more. They're supposed to be sticky, gooey, and a mess. Ooh, we might get spices, spiceology. Ooh, that looks amazing. Pear tar with sm with smoky caramel and mellow or smashmallows. Smashmallows. We got a bag. I see that bag right there. Toasted vanilla. Huh. All right. <clears throat> So let's get right to this and find out what's in here. This stuff is horribly messy and that's why I stopped. So I'm gonna throw this away right now. So we got toasted mellows. They're cubed marshmallows. They did something already, so we'll see. Got a handle 15. Is that loose? I was going to throw a fit already. I was like, is it broken before I can get to use it? That's kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna, uh, before I start putting things together, let me get the rest of this out. I got a glove. And give me a sec, guys, because that's covered in this and I don't want to deal with that. A 
I'm assuming this is so you don't burn yourself while using the fire thing. Very comfortable. Unfortunately, it's your left hand and I'm right handed, but I hmm, guess I'll make do. Another stick. Let's find another stick. Let bring this back into focus. Another stick. This is the beer caramelizer thing. Next layer. Uh, oh. Throw this away. <laughs> a lot of powder going around. I'll open that in a second, guys. But we did indeed get some spices. So that's going to be fun. And it says try it on chicken and all that. So I'm going to do that. <sighs> okay, the packing is a pain in the ass this time around. They should have just stuck with their normal packaging because this is a pain in the ass. What's this? More hot sauce. I always love a good hot sauce. Your everyday hot sauce. Milligrams. I don't know what's in this one. This is the... Wow, my camera is not focusing at all today, guys. Might just be the glare as well, so... Yeah. I'm assuming it's ghost pepper, but we'll see. This is, again, this is the most redundant and useless packing ever i get it, it's supposed to match the theme but it's completely stupid they should never do this again and yep they said we getting this and that actually so smoke and ketchup so we got some ghost ghost pepper ketchup that's cool look forward to trying that with fries and yeah indeed they did send me a cookbook and look at this, like, come on, like, there's no reason for that packaging. This packaging, it's literally just a mess. There's no reason for that. Now to go, look at this, there's, uh, this packaging is just annoying. Usually I like to keep the boxes, but in this case, I like to keep the boxes for about a year and then toss them out. My gosh, I'm tossing this one as soon as I can. But yeah, there's quite a few cook. This is a cookbook and a very nice cookbook actually. It's messed up with Thanksgiving coming up. That means a bunch of Friendsgivings going on, and that means I can try some of these. So that's pretty cool. I do appreciate this cookbook. All right, but I think that's it. I I hope that's it. My gosh, that's, no, I'm not gonna mess with that. This is going in the trash. Doesn't in the trash can, unfortunately. So I'll have to do that in a second. But let's do the pricing now. Remember, it has to make has to meet a hundred dollars in order for it to have been worth it. This one's gonna be a tough one, I'm from the looks of it. But let's see what happens. Actually, I do look that stuff got everywhere. Ugh. Always gotta check and make sure I didn't look at anything weird on my phone before I start doing this. No, nope, nothing. Just a Burger King thing. Okay, no. So let's start with these two since it's two of them. We're gonna go with, huh? Hoss. Smoke ketchup. It was right there. And I do need to keep track, so I have to track down a piece of paper, guys. No paper was found, so I'm using cardboard. And as always, the other pen, the pen they sent me with last month's box. That is still my favorite box. Phenomenal pen. Well, let's go. Okay. I think I found both of them right away. So the ketchup's ten bucks. The ghost pepper sixteen uh, six point 
I'm trying to find something. There we go. I'll go in there. That one from them directly is 10 bucks as well, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't want 20% off. That's 20. Let's check shop now. I always gotta check all their items. 10. <clears throat> 10, yeah. Wake up call, no. I'm gonna go 10. So 10 and 10 for both of these. Set them up over here. Let's do this one, because this one looks awesome. Spiceology. Spiceology. We literally just have to find one. Uh, Fourteen dollars. Because I'm gonna assume they're all gonna be about the same. We do with that glass jar. Glass jar. Perfect. Got that one taken care of. Um. Let's see. Paula. This. Book. Book. <clears throat> well, she has a few out there, huh? Thank you for smoking. And it's 15 ebooks, so I didn't get an ebook. Let's go there. Barton, let's try Amazon. We'll go with the cheaper route. And. Hardcover, 15 bucks. All right. <clears throat> I think I got the easy stuff out of the way right now, guys, because this one I have no idea. Oh, I forgot to open this. Sorry about that, guys. Whoop. Because I have no idea what's in here. It is quite literally a single s'more. That's something else. I'm gonna say this is probably like a $15 thing. Gourmet vanilla bean marshmallows, handcrafted honeycomb graham crackers, sea salt dusted Belgium milk chocolate. This just sounds expensive actually. So, get out of here. Let's see. Tick. Nope. Tick it. Chocolate. Home oh, ticket chocolate. Let's see. Let's see. It's eighteen dollars for this. That right there cost eighteen dollars. That's ridiculous. <sighs> I appreciate it, but still. Eighteen bucks for the a s'more. A single freaking s'more. Oh sorry, two s'mores. For two s'mores, guys, it cost eighteen dollars. Ah, uh, well. Mash. Mallow. And it is $4. I'm rounding up like I said, guys. This one's not looking that great. The last one, I have no idea what to search. So, it's this one. So, I'm going to do with that. I go there. We're going to go... Numbers one five seven one beer caramelizer caramelizer that would be I'm gonna say thirty five or so let's see here we'll go directly to their website give it everything the benefit of doubt. Shop. Let me see what else. Uh, got this. $48. Beer caramelizer with extra rod for roasting. 
roasting tip and glove. So this is what I got. Like literally this, $48 for handling hot items that, have, yeah, literally got this. So let's do the final verdict. And like I said, this one was looking rough, guys. So we got 10 plus 10 plus 14 plus 15 plus 18 plus 4 uh, plus 48. 119. So overall, didn't seem like it was going to get there, but it got there. This box is worth it. $120 worth of value. If you bought it individually, you'd be, you'd be scraping by on that one. But since I bought a full year subscription, still kind of peeved about that one, that, then it's worth it. Like I'm looking forward to honestly, these three items the most and the cookbook, especially since it came here around this time of year. But other than that, beer caramelizer, probably never use it in all honesty. And let me actually put that together for you guys so we can see what it looks like. There's, there's the handle. And then you're supposed to not do anything with this. You just heat the tip up and call it good. Look at that. You can, yeah, I can hold it far enough. So heat that up into the beer. That stays on. This comes off. And... So look at that, if it would go on. This one's much more difficult to just screw on. And this would be for the marshmallows. I actually really like that more than beer caramelizer because hot beer does not sound that great. I'd probably do it with a cider because apple cider is supposed to be hot, but a beer, I don't think so. But yeah. So that was pretty cool overall. Really looking forward to these three items. This one to make, I'll probably, hey, I could throw it on turkey. I have Friendsgiving, so I'll throw it on a chicken and see how, what happens. This I'm just gonna keep around for burgers and fries. This, I have no idea, it's a hot sauce, so I'm gonna try it, see how hot it is. Because I like hot. I'm just gonna lick that. Mmm, that is good. Ooh, that is spicy. That is spicy indeed. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, it's a, it's a quick spice, not a lingering spice. So it's good. That is a smoky, that is smoky and good. My gosh, that's real good. This would be great on chicken. Barbecuing it, glazing it, not marinating it, of course, but yeah, that'd be real good. Try some wings with that. And then my $18 s'mores. So, pretty good stuff. Cool stuff. Interesting stuff. Appreciate the book very much. Beer caramelizer. We'll see what happens there. But overall, meant the value. Biggest complaint, surprisingly, is still the shipping. It's I still have yet to get any kind of notification for November's box, so that one might be behind as well. So we'll see what happens there. But October's box, awesome. Packaging, absolutely horrible. Shipping, absolutely horrible. Items on the dot. But yeah, guys, if you guys got any of these items, let me know. Let me know what you think about any of these items or if you want me to hit on any of these items specifically. If anyone wants a recipe out of this, let me know. I'll take a picture of it for you. I do want to keep the book because it's a nice book. Like I said, cool stuff in here. Smoked herbs and stuff. Like, look at this. Oh, it had. It has drinks in here too. This is awesome. But yeah, if anyone wants any recipes out of here, let me know. I'd be more than happy to share them with you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. As always, guys, but you guys have a fantastic day. Have a great Thanksgiving. If I, I think I'll have another video up. Don't know. Depends on Rob Vice and what other products I get in by then. But yeah, have a great Thanksgiving and everything else. Like, comment, subscribe are always appreciated. As always, guys, you guys have a great one. Till next time. See ya.